Hi, just wanted to share with you how I organise the digi files. My name's Melissa Shannon and I use Windows Explorer, Photoshop Elements, Organizer and unzip them all to help me organise the digi files. I download each month's digi files into a folder within my daily digi file structure. As you can see over here, the DigiFiles 28. Then there's all the zip files. I've just downloaded them straight into there. Then I use unzip them all to unzip them. I just do select all and click start. It then runs through and extracts all of the files. So Here's my folders all extracted. I'm on a PC, so I usually just delete the Mac OS X files and I leave them as the designers have designed them. The next thing I do once they're all extracted successfully and there was no errors is I select all the zip files and I move them over to the zips folder. Then what I do periodically is burn off a DVD of all the zips in the zip folder and then delete them off my hard disk. And I go into my Photoshop Elements Organizer, click on File, then Get Photos and Videos from Files and Folders or press Control Shift G and navigate through to my folder go through to the Daily Digi number 28 we were doing click on Get Media now it will just run through and add all the files to the organiser now it says that the following items weren't imported there's all your zip files and a few files that were already in the catalogue now it will just load up and I do select all albums then I do new album and everything else I had selected is automatically loaded up into this new album so I'm calling it the DigiFiles 28 done another quick thing I'll do at the moment is just go to find by details metadata search for anything within the the Digifiles 28 album where the file name contains preview and I'll quickly tag them click on previews apply that to all of them so then I can quickly see all the previews another way to just double check that I've got all the previews tagged there sometimes they're named folder so I'll just select all of them. That got me another 10 or 12 there. So now all my previews are tagged. If I ever want to split up and move around the DigiFiles, I'll just select my folder that I'm interested in and do folder location. And then for example, I want to move Flurgs, get into my folder with all my Flurgs goodies. That's Flurgs in Bloom. Click on the title here and it automatically selects the folder. So we want to move all of those. Flurgs. So I've got a folder for Flurgs because I've bought quite a lot of her stuff. Totally awesome designer. Yes, so I just confirm I do actually want to move it. Now the great thing about doing it this way is I have moved it over into my standard Flurgs folder. So if I'm wanting to find something from Flurgs, I can. But I'm also keeping it tagged in the album of the DigiFiles 20. So 
if I ever want to find it again, I've got a couple of different ways to find it. So I've moved Flogs in Bloom there. So now I could find it in a couple of different ways. An auto search here, which comes and finds everything that Flogs is done. So it's labelled as um, Digifiles 20. Even though it's no longer in that folder, I know where I originally got it from. So that's just a little quick walkthrough of how I organise my Digifiles. Plus a couple of little tips on how you might be able to use the Photoshop Elements Organiser. For more information on how to use Photoshop Elements in your scrapbooking, visit my site at m s h a n h u n dot com, mshannon dot com.